In today's video, we're going to test out what happens if you disobey all of the instructions on how to properly deep fry a turkey. Thanksgiving is coming up here in America, and it's tradition to eat a turkey. Being Americans, we decided that a great way to cook a turkey would be to deep fry the whole sucker. So that's a thing that you can just buy is a turkey deep fryer, but they often come with a lot of warnings because if you do it wrong, it can result in a giant fireball, a burned turkey, and just a dangerous situation all around. Here's the basic idea. There are methods known about how to properly deep fry an entire turkey for your Thanksgiving meal. If you don't follow those instructions, it could result in disaster. We're going to ignore all of those instructions and hope for the disaster. This is an entire booklet on how you are supposed to both assemble and then deep fry a turkey. And we were looking at some of these instructions and I mean, they're good instructions. Don't heat your oil to flash point. Don't put a frozen turkey into hot oil. Don't let things smoke over. Don't let the oil boil over. Uh, well, we followed the assembly instructions, I think correctly. Mostly. But about those cooking instructions, we kind of want the fireball. And we'll be honest, we're not the first people to do this. Lots of people on YouTube have shown you what will happen if you try to deep fry a turkey. Now, that is something that you can do. If the turkey is thawed, if you're in the right location, if you don't have too much oil, if you haven't overheated it, we're going to do all of the things you don't do with a turkey to deep fry. We're gonna do everything wrong except for one thing, and that is you should never, ever, 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 ever attempt to deep fry a turkey in an enclosed space near a wall, anything flammable. We're back up at the dome today and the entire area has been cleaned out. There's nothing here, there's nothing flammable, and we have three different fire extinguishers in case anything does go farther than we want it to. Other than that... We want a fireball, but we aren't trying to burn down someone's house. Yes. So we are surrounded by a whole lot of dirt and the closest building is made of concrete. Pretty sure we can't burn it down. Should be safe. Now this particular type of fire is called, now I'm not sure if the abbreviation is BLEV, BLEV, B-L-E-V-E, and that is a boiling liquid expanding vapor explosion. There you go. <laughs> the idea is that the turkey is frozen. It has ice on and inside it. Uh, and if the oil is very, very hot, or even a normal frying temperature, when that ice goes in, it will not only melt, but it will melt and then vaporize. And water expands a lot very quickly when it vaporizes. And that vaporization causes the boiling hot oil to get pushed through the air. And if any of it happens to land on the burner down below, then that vaporizing, expanding oil can catch fire and it can spread really far. So in the past, you've actually seen me attempt to do this and actually succeed to show you guys what different types of fire extinguishers do. I did that in the dome. We had about two inches of oil and I heated it to its auto ignition temperature. What we did essentially is start a fire when we didn't even have a flame. The flash point caused the oil to just auto ignite and it was really cool and I was able to show you how quickly you can put it out. If that happens again today, it should, or it should just hit that flame and explode. We do have those fire extinguishers. So you guys have already seen what an oil or grease fire will do. It's extreme, it's awesome. So we've got our burner. This is quite a big, powerful propane burner. We're gonna get the oil heating up. We have four gallons of oil right now. Yeah, normally you're supposed to heat these four gallons of oil up to about 325. We're going to heat it up to a lot more than that, probably four to 500. We'll see how hot it gets. And at that- Not quite auto ignition temperature, but pretty close. Hot enough that if any flame got to it or if any of it spilled onto the flame down below, it should light on fire pretty easily. And that's, that's what we're hoping for. Let's get this lit. All right. We are hopefully going to have a fireball shooting up into the air. And to prevent too much boiling oil from landing on our propane tank, even though I don't think it would be a problem. We're just gonna use this as our heat shield to our giant metal foundry. It's a trash can with a lot of KO wool. I think that'll just keep some of it from splashing on there. This is also going to be our first target with our fire extinguisher if everything goes right, just to make sure that there's no fire on the propane tank. You know, seems like a good plan. We're gonna let that go. We've got our thermometer. So this actually has a cool feature. It's an auto turn off after 15 minutes. If you don't come and reset the timer, that's another safety feature. So we are going to have to come back and intermittently turn it back on until we get it to the heat that we want it to be. At that point, we'll take the lid off. We're gonna back away to a safe distance. We're backing our cars away. We'll be behind a shield. And then we're gonna lower the turkey in. Should be great. I guess we're not technically breaking all of the rules because I'm sure one of the rules is 
don't put the turkey into the oil with your bare hands when you're right next to it. Don't just take it and just like slam dunk it into the pot. Ooh, extreme sports. Mm -hmm. and we may have to do this again because obviously we're not going to deep fry the turkey in the plastic. Yes. But from right there, that looks like an excellent aim. So I think for now we'll call that good. Okay. That's all ice. This is just like a casing of ice on here. So the oil is at 325. We've turned off the flame. And here we have completely thawed turkey legs. Now, if you were doing this with a completely thawed turkey, that'd be fine. But we're trying to like speed up through the process here real quick. So thawed turkey leg. And normally you might want to brine it. But or something. We just got some salt. We're just going to. Yep. We're just going to tie it to a rope to make sure that our pulley system's working the way we want it to. So if this were a full turkey, it's prepared, it's completely thawed, the oil is hot enough, and the flame is off. So let's lower it down and we'll see if it works. And I'm just gonna start running. Stop. Okay, you ready? Sure. Okay. Slowly, more, more, oh, there you go. Nope, more. So fun fact about everything we're doing, Nate and I both just realized we don't actually know how long you're supposed to deep fry turkey for even a turkey leg. We didn't think we'd get this far to begin with. All right, so if you do everything right, you follow the instructions on how you're actually supposed to safely cook raw meat in a deep fryer. It's not a bad way to do it. Can we cook all the way through it? No. Oh, wow. The middle is still raw. Okay, any sort of poultry should not in any way be tacky or sticky when you touch it when it's cooked. I think Nate's attempting to just gnaw off the skin right now. See that part? That was cooked, and that's what I'm eating. Mm -hmm. That was good. So, now let's do it wrong. We are at about 450 degrees Fahrenheit, which is right at the point where you start to have to worry about auto-ignition for peanut oil, and most of what we've got going is peanut oil. So, uh, I actually turned the heat down just a little bit to make sure it didn't go too far past that. We're not trying to get it to ignite in the pot before we drop the turkey in, but now I'm gonna turn it back up, remove the lid, and get out of here while Callie is holding it on the pulley and once we're safe at a good distance, we'll have her lower it in and hopefully everything goes boom. I'm not putting this down until somebody's holding a fire extinguisher. Good plan. <laughs> we can wait until it's smoking more. I just don't want you that close anymore. Oh, we had a I'm, drip come down. Yep, just a drip of water and that whole thing is already making noise. Fast. Holy cow! Ha <laughs> ha! Did it put itself out? Uh, there's still some fire. I saw a fireball. Yeah. So I think it maybe wasn't quite hot enough for the biggest type of explosion, but we got a good fireball. Yeah, but it went out. Well, we got a fireball. We did, and it was awesome. Guys, thaw your turkeys if you're gonna deep fry them. Don't do that. This is still frozen, like all the way through with just like a slightly cooked yep. outside, but not very cooked outside, just a little. And yeah, there's a fireball. We're not in a house, we're on dirt. Yep. So the dirt didn't light on fire. Here's the problem, it wasn't big enough for our taste. We think we could get a bigger fireball. We want more fire. So uh, we're gonna- surprised. <laughs> we're gonna heat the oil back up. I think we're just gonna like drop a water bottle in it. Get a really good fire. This no longer has anything to do with the turkey. Now we're just trying to create fire. Yeah. Yeah. All right, let's find out. That's better! The tank! It's just like bits of the water still in the shriveled, oh, yeah. shrunken bottle are just like eeping out a little bit. This is now no longer usable as a fire extinguisher, so I'm gonna have a little bit of fun. If I remember correctly, this particular one is filled with, yep, it's a dry chemical fire extinguisher. One of the main ingredients in here is going to be baking soda. So if you use it in the kitchen, the main problem is, say you have a giant fire and you try and put it out with one of these,
Now your dinner's ruined and it's covered in baking soda, along with a lot of other stuff. Better than your house burning down. It is very true, but I mean, again, this is one of the reasons you wanna be careful, guys. You don't want your kitchen covered in this. <laughs> guys, that was a ton of fun, but please don't try this at home. We did this so that you don't have to. And remember, that's not all. We've always got more for you to see. Hit that box up at the top for most recent video, and we'll see you in the next one. Talk to you then.